everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Trish, I am an ambulatory wheelchair user and I use this channel to share what my day-to-day -day life is like. If you have missed my travel videos, you are in luck. I have tons coming up. In fact, in just a few days, my husband and I are taking our annual adult amusement park trip, which it's just a fancy way of saying we get someone else to watch our daughter so we can enjoy an amusement park. We do it once a year, and this year we're going to Kennywood. At least I hope we are. It's supposed to rain our entire trip. We'll see. Cross your fingers with me that we get to enjoy. Going in May brings that problem. Last year it kind of rained at Cedar Point. While we were there, it happens. We're just going to go with it. But. In the spirit of that, today I want to talk about booking a hotel room as a disabled person. I want to talk about some of the things you can do before you go to make your stay great. If this is your first time visiting my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I do accessible travel videos, disability advocacy videos, product unboxings, just so much more. Whatever I do in a day, I like to take you along with me. I've been doing a lot of vlogs at home lately only because school's wrapping up and I've been very busy, but tons of travel coming up. All right, so the most important thing to do when you're a wheelchair user or have another life-limiting disability is research. You really need to dive into the hotel's website, the room descriptions, reviews, all that. It can be hard to find an accessible room. And the biggest reason is that anyone can book an accessible room. You don't have to need one. You can just book one. And people do, unfortunately. I've seen vloggers book them just to show people, which I have a lot of opinions on that. Um, it's not cool. It's the short version. Anybody, some people think they're bigger, so they want the bigger room. And they are in short supply. So you really have to look at different hotel options to find an accessible room that matches your needs. It is much easier to find an accessible hotel room for two people than it is for three or four. Uh, most of them have like a queen or king bed and maybe a sleeper sofa, but I'm a mom and my daughter is not a heavy sleeper. A sleeper sofa won't cut it. <laughs> so I need at least two beds in a room and that can be hard to find in an accessible room. But researching really helps. Once you find the room and book it, it's always good to call them a few days before and just check on the room, make sure you get the room. I've had several times where I did not do that and then I get there and the room's not actually accessible. They gave my accessible room to somebody else and gave me a room that wouldn't work. Sometimes hotels will make it right, but most of the time they will not because they can't. They don't have a room to give you. So it's always good to call and let them know you need that room. And the last thing that you can do before you travel is make a list of anything that you need to make that room more accessible to you that would not be there. So like transfer boards, any kind of lift, uh, any special medical supplies. In like big tourist areas, I have heard of like Verbos and Airbnbs sometimes having equipment like that. Like there's a very small amount of places that will cater to disabled people. It's an untapped market. More people should do it, but they probably won't. But that's rare. So you are going to take everything you need, especially if it's something that you can't just go buy. I even had one person tell me that they bring extra wheels for wheelchairs, like the front caster wheels. And that is actually a really good idea depending on where you're going. So just pack for any situation you can think of. If you do all of those things, then hopefully you're, once you get to the hotel, you can just check in, go to your room and enjoy your trip. Traveling as a disabled person can be stressful, so I like to do anything I can to make it less stressful. All right, I know today was a short one, but that is all I have for you. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this video with someone who might find it helpful. I will be back with lots of travel videos soon. I do do this several times a week, so I'll see you later.